are in downtown Shaoxing, folks. This is the view from our hotel. Let's hit it. The terror of Shaoxing. <laughs> and we could speed up the footage, you know, just speed up the footage so that we're driving twice as fast. We don't need to, she's going fast enough. Here we are at the Lanting, or the Orchid Pavilion. It's a famous spot in Shaoxing, a famous tourist site. And it's also a sacred site for ancient Chinese culture. For it is here that the famous calligrapher Wang Xizhi, in the year 353 AD, held his famous party at the Orchid Pavilion, where he invited 41 guests to sit and drink wine and compose poems. So, here there's an arrow pointing to the Lanting Pavilion table, which is, I assume, the spot where Wang Xizhi, the calligrapher, composed his famous preface to the Orchid Pavilion poems. So let's go and check it out. So, we're getting closer to the famous spot where Wang Xizhi composed his poems. Let's keep on going in. This, by the way, is the famous Goose Pond. So, this is the famous Lanti, or Orchid Pavilion, where Wang Xizhi is alleged to have composed his preface to the famous collection of poems, uh, which constituted the most striking example of Chinese calligraphy in the history of China. So, this stele was erected by the Emperor Kangxi during the Qing Dynasty, and the Kangxi Emperor actually wrote these characters. So this is an example of the Kangxi Emperor's writing to commemorate the great poet and calligrapher Wang Xizhi. Then during the Cultural Revolution in the late 60s, early 70s, this stele was broken. And after the Cultural Revolution ended, uh, local officials pieced together the stele. So that's why parts of it are broken. So this is a replication of the original spot that, along the stream where the 41 poets sat and composed their poems. And they would sit on these reed mats. And servants would float cups of wine on lotus leaves down the stream. And as the lotus leaf got close to the poet, he would either have a choice of drinking the cup or composing a poem. So out of this, an entire uh, book of poems was composed, which uh, became the, the Orchid Pavilion Poems. We're now standing inside a writer's studio that was erected in honor of great calligrapher Wang Xizhi. 
And the special thing about this studio is that once a year, on the 3rd of March, by the Chinese lunar calendar, the best calligraphers from all over China come here and to commemorate the calligrapher Wang Xijiu. And they write um, calligraphy in honor of Wang Xijiu, copying down his famous preface to the collection of poems made in 353 AD.